Hello all of my friends, it's been so long and I miss you so, so much. I hope you're all doing fabulous and I hope uh, this distant or digital academy is working for you. We're sure having fun with the kids at school, but we do miss you so much. Now today, Ms. Regan sent a message out to everybody stating things that we need from you, like we need a short video, very short, just showing us what you're doing with the lessons that we're doing and some, some dialogue that we can send back to you through Seesaw. So please send a video. That's how we're grading you. So um, if you send nothing or just a thumbs up, thumbs up just doesn't cut it anymore. We need a little something from you all. So please send a video or a, a detailed message about things that you did. Today we are starting a little soccer unit in school. So you guys get to do soccer as well. I know not everybody has a soccer ball, but hopefully you have a ball at home and you can, like we have kids using basketball or playground balls outside with us doing it as well. So here's what we have going on today. So take a peek, take a peek, and let's see how it's going to go. <clears throat> so again, it is soccer, and it is fun. We know everybody loves soccer around here, and yeah, there are different levels of talent, so don't worry. I mean, we have kindergartners playing soccer just like your fifth graders, so don't worry about where you're at. Just have fun with it. But here's what we have for you. These are the skills that we are working on here at school and hopefully you'll get a chance to do them at, at home as well. Those skills being ball control, keeping the ball close to you under control. We will be doing a lot of dribbling. We have some things in the video that you'll see some dribbling going on and then a big passing. I, we have the three passes that we're doing, a little instep out step and laces and then a little defense so it's a quick little defense demonstration here and then we're going to try to score a goal let's get a rocking and roll we like to warm up warm everybody up with some fast feet work and the first one's called toe tap as you can see they're just bouncing on the ball of their foot tapping the bottom of of their toe on top of the ball don't stand on top of the ball it'll roll out and you'll end up falling down, we don't want that. So this is the toe tap, as we say down here, see how many you can do in 30 seconds. So have fun with that. Once you're done warming up with the toe taps, let's try this one, another, another fast footwork drill. We call it the Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzles, as you can see here, this rock star is a little soft tap with the instep of your foot keeping it going, trying to move it back and forth. Now as you see Marley's eyes are on the ball and that's good but she's keeping it going. Um, again after this we're gonna see how many we can do in 30 seconds. Now do you have to stop after 30 seconds? No, you can do it time and time again. Keep working on those those feet and trying to control the soccer ball. Marley does an awesome job here. Once you got your feet all warmed up Let's go out and dribble. As you can see, our friends here at school on Monday doing some awesome job dribbling around. You can see they're in their own space, coming close, but then dribbling past each other. Like When you are dribbling, focus on the soft touch with the inside, the outside, and the laces of your foot or shoe. Control the ball at all times and keep it close as close to you as you can. Remember, we always talk about if you just kick it and chase it, that's not dribbling. Keep it close to you at all times. It's all about controlling the soccer ball. I know we'll see great videos of kids doing this. Here's some fun thing, because sometimes you have to be able to stop the ball on a dime, as they say, stop it right away. So go out there and dribble a while, dribble it around, just like these girls and boys. Dribble it a while and then trap it. Stop the ball and change directions. It's a good one to do. Just again, keeping control of the ball the whole time. And oh, another good change, changing directions. I like this. We call it the pull back. Dribbling it around, 
and then putting the bottom of your foot on top of the ball and pulling them back to change directions. It's a great, great drill. And these girls and boys were awesome at it yesterday, so you can see how your, some of your friends were doing here at Echo Park. Hopefully we'll see some of this from you girls and boys as well. Let's move into passing. We have three passes that we're gonna work on, or I'd like to see you work on. And I know you might not have a brother or sister at home with you. Maybe you can encourage mom or dad to get out there and pass it with you. But this is what we call the lace, lace pass. Now you can see right here, watch this toe. Toe points down towards the ground, down towards the ground and, and making the pass using the lace of your foot or shoe. These girls here on the front are doing awesome. They're all doing awesome, but you can really see these two doing it well. So hopefully you'll get some lace passes with your laces. Next pass, a little instep or inside of your foot. As you see, it's kind of blurry. That's my fault, <laughs> video time. But using just the inside of your foot inside passes when you're passing it step with your opposite foot get the instep in in position right by the ball and make that pass try to make the pass again right to your teammate or your partner and the last pass <clears throat> i think is the most difficult when you're just standing here like this yeah when you're dribbling around this out step dribble is a little more natural using the outside of your foot but these two rock stars are demonstrating just being in one spot, trapping the ball and passing it. They're doing a great demonstration of trapping or getting control of the ball before they pass it. So hopefully you can do a little out step pass as well. And now we have the dribble and pass. Try to move around now. Try to find, find a partner and just dribble around in some space. Hopefully you have a little space outside that you can dribble and pass it around. Um, this is what you need to do in the real game of soccer. You have to be moving and you have to be able to pass it to a teammate. So just try, try a little of this. Dribble around. As you can see, the balls are kind of going all over. People are going all over here. So expectation of perfect passes every time? No. Just do the best you can. And here's a good defense. As you can see, the pass comes. Here's a pass. It was supposed to go to the to the little sister Bella, but Emma, the big sister, jumps in and steals it. Steals it away. So it working on a little defense, trying to steal the pass as the pass is coming in. Yes, you experienced soccer players. No, yeah, you can steal it off a person's dribble too, but Try a little of this. If you're playing with your sister or brother, try try a little stealing it from each other while you're dribbling it around. And what do we have now? Oh yes, Bella, Bella, the champion little sister, has Emma in the net, and Bella shoots it right by. Look at that! What a great shot. Emma tried, tried her best, but work on shooting at the goal. There we go. There we go, as Mr. Egan and I always say, do your best. Do your best at working on all the skills listed today. I know we have some creative kids out there in our digital academy, so I know you're gonna be doing a great job. But just have fun with this and keep practicing. And as always, have fun. Most important thing Mr. Egan and I want you to do is have fun. And yes, yes, I've said it multiple times, we would love, love, love to see some videos from all of you. So please make sure you send us something. And you do have two weeks. We send the lessons out on Wednesday because of the cycles that we have here. So you have a couple weeks. It's not like you have to go out and do it today. But have fun with it, everybody. And as I said, miss you so, so much.